Hey there, second grade, how's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Enzi. And today I'm joined by Mr. Scarecrow. Mr. Scarecrow is another Lego creation who always makes an appearance this time of the year. All right, so let's get started. Today we're going to need a couple of items to help us with our lesson. So you may have to hit the pause button and go and get some of these things. You will need your whiteboard and your dry erase marker. And you are also going to need your grade 2 MathMat resource pack, which is made up of lots of different templates. And the template we are going to use today is called the double 10 frame. So you will see two 10 frames. So you are going to need your whiteboard, your marker, and your double 10 frame placed inside the sheet protector so that you can write on it with a dry erase marker over and over again and get some practice in. All right, so if you don't have all of that stuff, hit the pause button, go and get it. When you have it all, press play because I am going to shrink myself into the corner as we get started. Today, we are going to be doing grade two, lesson 2.4, and it's called the Making 10 Strategy. It's a strategy for how to quickly add some numbers. You will be needing your whiteboard and your marker. You'll be needing your double 10 frame math mat. And you'll place that right into the sheet protector. So let's go ahead and get started here. This takes us on a little review as we warm up in math with our friends of 10. Remember from first grade, our friends of 10 were two numbers that add up to 10. 5 plus 5, it added up to 10. Now, there are 11 different facts that will add up to 10. We call them our friends of 10. Here is what your job is going to be for a warm-up. I want you to go ahead and press that pause button. And on your whiteboard, I want you to write down as many of the friends of 10 as you can. Remember, if you've come up with 11 number models and they're all different, you've probably found all of them. And that would be amazing. So go ahead, hit that pause button, and write down as many friends of 10 as you can on your whiteboard. When you're done, come press play and we'll see how many you got correct. Let's check to see how many of the friends of 10 you found. Remember that our friends of 10, they're called addends. We have an addend plus an addend, and it equals the sum. Now the sum is the answer to an addition problem. And our answer for all of these problems is 10. Our addends might change. They're the numbers we add together. So one of the friends of 10 pairs are 0 plus 10. And then we have 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6. 5 plus 5, 6 plus 4, 7 plus 3, 8 plus 2, 9 plus 1, and 10 plus 0. Remember that our friends of 10 always go with addition. And I have down 11 addition facts that all sum to the number 10. Did you find all of them too? All right, well, our friends of 10 are really important 
especially in second grade, because today we're going to use our knowledge of our friends of 10 as we practice the making 10 strategy. So you have a double 10 frame in front of you. I want you to go ahead and show me on your double front 10 frame what you see on the screen. I have eight in one 10 frame and two in the other 10 frame. Go ahead and hit the pause button while you go and draw the eight dots and then the two dots in the other 10 frame. When you're done, you can press play to resume the video. All right, I always like to count to see how many dots I have. And in my first 10 frame, I have eight, five, six, seven, eight. In my second 10 frame, I have two. Now, our friends of 10 comes in handy here because look what happens when I move my two dots. I can make 10. Go ahead and draw some of those arrows on your second 10 frame so that you too fill up the one 10 frame. So this helps us to see that when I have eight plus two, it equals 10 because I can use the making 10 strategy. I moved these dots into my one 10 frame where they fit perfectly. Awesome job. You can go ahead and clear off that sheet protector because here is another one for us to try. This time my double 10 frames look a little different. This time I have five, six, seven, eight, and then in this one I have three. Go ahead and draw those dots on your 10 frames. Eight in the first 10 frame and three in the next 10 frame. Hit the pause button while you finish. When you're done, press resume to continue the video. So I have eight plus three. So in my 10 frames, I see eight plus three. Hmm. Well, I'm going to use the making 10 strategy. I'm going to try to make a group of 10. And I can take two of my dots and I can slide them into my one 10 frame. And all of a sudden, I made 10. So now you can see that I used eight plus two to help me out. But I just don't have eight plus two equals 10. I have 10 plus one more. If I've already made 10 and I have one more little dot sitting there, what's one more than 10? 11. So I have 11 for my sum. 8 plus 3 is 11. Awesome job. You can go ahead and clear off your sheet protector because here's another that we are going to try. So here's an example. The example says on each double 10 frame, show how making 10 can help you find the sum. Then write the combination of 10 that helped you. So the combination of 10 is like your friends of 10. So let's take a look at our example. Our example shows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, one, two, three, four, five. It shows eight plus five. So that is my fact. My fact is eight plus five. 
Now, in order for me to make 10, I could take two of them and move them into my 10 frame. So now my helper fact was eight. Here's my eight plus two more. And that equals 10. So I wrote that. I wrote eight plus two more equals 10. But now I have three left that I haven't counted yet. So I have 10 plus three more. 10 plus 3 more is 11, 12, 13. So my real answer is 8 plus 5 equals 13. My friend of 10 that helped me was to think about 8 plus 2 equals 10. That's an example. Let's try one together. The first thing we want to do is we want to draw out our dots on our double 10 frame. And you'll be able to see the dots right here on the screen. Go ahead and copy the dots that you see in each 10 frame. Hit the pause button while you finish. Now, the first thing that I like to do is I like to see what my fact is. What is the fact that I'm going to try to solve? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to count up all of my dots. I have five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight in one 10 frame. In my other 10 frame, I have four, five. So I have eight plus five. Now I'm going to pretend I don't know the answer yet because I want to try to make 10. So I see that I have eight dots filled in. I have room for two more because eight plus two more becomes a friend of 10. So I'm going to take those two dots and I'm going to draw them into my first 10 frame. So now I used a helper fact. I started with eight. I added two more dots to get 10. So now you can see, here's my 10 dots. I have 10, but I have three more that I have to add. What's 10 plus three more? 11, 12, 13. So eight plus five is 13. Awesome job. Go in and clear off your sheet protector. Let's try another one. So this one, you're going to see that I have two 10 frames again. Go ahead and draw those dots on your two 10 frames using your sheet protector and marker. Hit the pause button while you copy the dots. All right, let's see what we have here. I want to find what my fact is. And my fact is what I'm going to see in my 10 frame. Well, let's count. Five, six, seven, eight, nine dots. So my fact is nine plus one, two, three. Nine plus three more. Now I'm not going to write my answer just yet because I want to practice making 10. Well, you notice that I already have nine. How many more dots do I need to make 10? Just one more. So I'm going to take this dot here and I'm going to slide it over. My combination of 10 that helped was 9 plus 1 equal 10. So now I'm at 10, but I have two more dots that I didn't use yet. So I have my 10 plus two more, 10, 11, 12, nine plus three equals 12. So this can get tricky. This here fact is what I actually see in my 10 frame. 
my combination of 10 is going to be the friend of 10 that I make when I fill in one of my 10 frames. Because when I fill it in, I will get 10. I have a question here that says, explain how you solve the problem. Well, if I had to explain it, I would say I used the making 10 strategy. I made 9 plus 1 equals 10. I still have two dots left over. 10 plus 2 equals 12. I know 9 plus 3 equals 12. So I explained my strategy and explained my work, and I used some math words to do that. So I want to read that to you again. I use the making 10 strategy. I made 9 plus 1 equals 10. I made my friend of 10. I still have two dots left over, right? Here were my two dots that were just sitting there. I didn't use them yet. So I had my 10 and I added the two more to make 12. I know that 9 plus 3 must equal 12. All right, awesome job. Second graders, today we use the making 10 strategy. We tried to make a friend of 10 and then add on anything that we had left over. Your job today in your seesaw activity is going to be to complete some problems using some double 10 frames. And the making 10 strategy. All right, my friends, go ahead and get started. I can't wait to see how smart you are. Have a great day.